What's up, my fam? How are y'all doing? And welcome in to all of the newbies. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a moment, hit that subscribe, turn your notifications on because I do tend to post more than one video today. Today I'm posting three. So I've already posted one about the Big Lots update. Um, and now this is an update as well to the whole outage situation that took place. So I welcome you guys in. Thanks for supporting the channel, whether it is news you can use or just me living and doing all the things over here on All Things Tommy Bites TV. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Once my mouse starts to work, I hope y'all having a great day. Um, my day is kind of like this. Um, with information on my dad. I don't want to get into it right this minute. Um, let's go ahead and share this and what's going on because a lot of companies are still having issues with this um, crowd strike tech outage that took place last Friday. A lot of companies are still having issues. Um, in particular, one airline and then other companies that had issues as well are still having some outage problems and also there will be i will let you know about what the police is warning residents about okay you need to stay aware and vigilant as to what could take place because of this whole crowd strike situation so delta is under investigation for its response to CrowdStrike tech outage related cancellations, DOT announces this on Twitter. An investigation has opened into Delta's response to the CrowdStrike outage after the airline continued to have a high number of flight cancellations, even after other airlines had returned to normal. Transportation Secretary announced the investigation on social media on Tuesday morning, saying the agency is making sure the airline is abiding by the law and taking care of its passengers during continued widespread disruptions. He spoke to Delta CEO on Sunday about the airline's high number of cancellations since Friday, saying the agency had received hundreds of complaints about Delta, um, Budapest, I think that's how you say his name, said he expects the airline to provide hotels and meals for travelers. Are y'all listening? So if you, because I know some of y'all were in the comments and you were saying that you were um, in the airport and that things were canceled. So expect the airline to provide hotels and meals for travelers who are delayed and to issue quick refunds to customers who don't want to rebook on a later flight. Y'all, I found out that you can also ask for and that they are supposed to give you so many points or whatever as far as flying. So check into that as well. Like if your luggage is not there for you when you get to your destination um, within a certain amount of time, they have to give you flying rewards or points. But they don't tell you that because they don't want to give them to you. You have to actually read their policies and it's in there. I found that watching somebody else's video because I don't fly. Y'all know that. So it says no one should be stranded at an airport overnight or stuck on hold for hours waiting to talk to a customer service agent. Delta has canceled more than 5,500 flights since the outage started early Friday morning. That included at least 700 flights canceled on Monday, accounting for nearly all the cancellations in the U.S. Airlines were among the businesses hardest hit, of course, with this disruptive crowd strike tech outage on last Friday caused by a software update gone awry. About 8.5 million machines were affected. I got... I read y'all comments. There were people that were affected at doctor's offices. I even found out after the fact, after I had done the video from one of my sisters that the um, hospital at Fort Jackson was affected as well. So this even affected military bases to some degree. 
Um, it affected DMVs, some doctor's offices as well. And then there were some that weren't affected and people took offense to me saying that everything is down. Okay, if your thing is not down, don't be so negative about it. Look at that as a blessing that it didn't affect you, that you were able to go on with your day while millions of other people were not able to do so. So don't get mad at me for reporting the news. I don't make the news. I'm just bringing it to you so you'll know what's happening. Now, let's get into what the police is um, really warning us about. So if you see something like this on your computer screen or any device you have, do not click it. Do not click on it. Do not scan it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. Last week's global IT outage is still affecting some businesses. Local officials want to make sure it doesn't affect your money or your personal information. The Oshkosh Police, yes, Oshkosh Police Department is sharing a warning. Whether it's scammers or hackers, officials say they may take advantage of the headline making outage. And y'all, I hope this is news that you can use and share with other people. Please hit that like button if it is. The good news is this is an incident where we can alert you to scams before there are reports of crimes happening. The Oshkosh police say scammers may try to impersonate technical support um, for CrowdStrike or Microsoft or another company. They'll send you this file they claim will resolve your digital crash, but instead it will contain malware to steal your information. Federal offices especially say um, Hopers hope to lure you by promising to repair outages or offering, <coughs> oh Lord, or offering to sell fake cryptocurrency. Security experts say cyber criminals are using fake websites that can look like very convincing to collect your personal data. So you may see something that looks like Microsoft or whatever company that you may be with. It might not be that company. It's safer to call that actual company and say, hey, did you send me something? And I'm not reading this. I'm telling you this is safer for you. If you get that on your screen, do not click on it. Go to the company and call it direct. Don't call a number that's on the screen because that's going to be linked to them, that, that person or that entity that's trying to steal your information. Call the company yourself direct and ask them, did they send you something before you click on anything? Um, local police want you to look out for phishing emails or text messages posing as someone directly involved with fixing your global IT outage. They may help they may offer to help you. Also look out for people posing as independent researchers claiming to have evidence the technical issue is linked to a cyber attack and again, offering their help. These are all scams, y'all. Right now, there is no automated fix for the CrowdStrike problem. Some experts say it could take a while before it's completely resolved. So I'm telling you now, a lot of businesses are still being affected. This is the update to what took place on Friday, if you're just coming in and seeing this. Uh, Oshkosh police say if you're not sure something is a scam, you can call the police department and they have their number on here. Or you can call your local police. OK, and y'all need to stay alert for those types of things. And this, I think, with this uh, crowd strike happening and even when the situation took place a few months, months ago where a lot of cell services and companies were down and we could not use our phones or whatever, you were getting that alert to your, well, that message on your phone. Um, we need to keep that in the back of our minds and figure out how we can keep our communication even when those things go down come up with a plan with your family member. Hey, if, you know, some kind of emergency happens where everything is knocked out, if the grid is down, 
it's blackout time. Where do you go to stay safe if you cannot make it home? So while they can't reach you, they still know that you may be where y'all agreed upon you to go. These are serious things that are happening right now. The world is in a crazy place right now. Uh, we have the whole presidency thing taking place. We have leaders from other countries chiming in on what they feel about it. I won't get into all of that. Um, I did cover the fact that the president stepped down. But other than that, I don't like to do politics over here. But I, if it's something as major as that, then I'll bring it to you. But the little odds and ends of it, you can go to CNN, Fox News, any of those. That's all they talk about all day long. My goal here for this channel is to give you all the things. And all the things means all the things I'm doing personally, all the things that the news is not covering that I feel you should know about that could help you down the road. Again, y'all take care, stay safe, keep your head on a swivel, definitely support one another. Y'all leave tips and ideas on how you can stay safe in the comments, um, things that you can do to better, you know, protect yourself, possibly stock up on your food. We have so many weeks left before this election takes place. And already there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on and we need to protect ourselves from the things that are happening. Um, you might say, well, what I got to protect myself from? It depends on who you are. And let's be real. This country is divided. So let's stay together. Let's stand together. And I'll see y'all in the next video. It does not want to work today. So thank y'all for coming in. I appreciate it. I see y'all in there. I see all the new subscribers. And, you know, I lost a lot of subscribers, but that's okay. God is good. God is able and he will provide. I'm just going to work harder and bring y'all the news that you can use. All the things on all things Tommy Bites TV. I'll holla. <laughs>